Sup all, JC3 here, the baller of YouTube The General. Welcome to Topic Tackle. My take for today is on the one player that LeBron has been average against in his career. You might be surprised to find out who this one player is. First off, I want to continue to thank all of you for the support on the past couple of videos. I enjoy reading and replying to comments, so keep them coming down below. And thanks to those of you who like the videos because it lets me know that you're interested in these type of videos. And in return, I'll keep producing them. So make sure to give this video a thumbs up and let's get going with today's topic. I want to start by saying that LeBron does receive a lot of criticism for losing five finals and postseason failures where he didn't show killer instinct and the fact that two of his three championships came on a super team and the way he left Cleveland to join said super team and those criticisms are justified for a player considered by some as the greatest ever. Nowadays it seems like a large part of the internet loves LeBron and I personally believe he receives too much praise now with some people calling him the GOAT. But one area in which both sides really have to hand it to LeBron is his record against other stars. You can say what you want about him, and I'm not a LeBron advocate in any way, but this is pretty impressive. His record against Steph Curry and Tim Duncan in the postseason aren't huge knocks against his legacy. After all, the Spurs and Warriors that LeBron has faced in the finals had multiple all-stars and multiple potential Hall of Famers. In these cases, it hasn't been specifically one player from the Spurs or Warriors that LeBron has struggled against, but rather the team as a whole kept him from winning the title. But look at his records against other superstars like Kevin Durant, Chris Bosh, Dirk Nowitzki, Carmelo Anthony, Chris Paul, and most surprising to me and most likely to you, Kobe Bryant. In all these matchups combined, LeBron either wins the game or almost always outscores the other superstar, or both, if you're looking at the overall averages. So it is fair to say that LeBron has performed well against top talent in the league throughout his career, but here is one interesting case in which LeBron has been just about average in. LeBron has a near average 15 and 14 career record against none other than his best buddy Dwayne Wade. And somehow, these two players, who will go down as greats in NBA history, have never met in the playoffs. You would have thought it would have happened by now, right? Probably the most memorable moment between LeBron's Cavs and Wade's Heat came back in 2009 when Wade drove in and absolutely posterized Anderson Verzhao for the and one. Wade had a great play, but LeBron won the game. Back in April of 2006, Wade and LeBron had a classic down to the wire matchup with big plays back and forth down the stretch. Wade finished with 44, LeBron with 47 in another Cavs win. In the 06 postseason, we came close to seeing LeBron take on Wade, but he fell one game short to Detroit in the semifinals. Wade came up one game short of playing LeBron in the conference finals in 2016. It was also close this last year when a potential 1-8 matchup of Bulls-Cavs presented itself. That would have been really Really good to finally see the two square off against each other, but LeBron is clearly superior to Wade at this point. Isaiah Thomas and Magic were good friends until they squared off in the finals, and that ended up causing some hostility between the two for a while. Would that have happened between LeBron and Wade if they ever faced each other in the postseason? So let me know what you think in the comments down below. Would LeBron had beat a Wade-led Heat team in the playoffs? Remember to subscribe, like, and leave your feedback in the comments down below, and we'll be back with more Topic Tackle soon. JC3, out!